morning, everybody. Morning. ZGK coming at you. Say morning. Morning. Say good morning. Uh, uh. Okay, be mean. Zeke's mad. But anyways, I wanted to come and get a Starbucks. Uh, we're back home. And uh, I'm going to be honest with y'all. Uh, depression has set in for me. I have been having so much fun this past, like, days and going, Two like... Days. No days, like I've been like going to meet Bad Bio and um, the Florida and then the Georgia and then the, the Repticon to end it all. And like yesterday was just like so amazing. I did not even want to leave. And then when we left, I was I was depressed. I'm gonna be honest. Like after we've been around all those snakes and all that stuff, and then you leave and then you you take a couple pickups with you and everything, of course. But you're like. I want to go back. Yeah, you want to go back and you don't want to, you, you're like, this is like, you just start feeling like this is what I'm supposed to be doing. This is who I am. And now I realize this, that like I want to, I'm probably going to set up a booth one day at the Repticon Poly in Charlotte or something just for the first experience and to put our name out there further. But man, bummed. I'm bummed. I'm never bummed. I'm tr still trying to be positive, but I'm not even going to lie. I'm a little bummed today. But we're going to go to the snake den and clean up some snake bins and give everybody some water. And we're going to show y'all, uh, we're going to show y'all the pickups we got, you know, more detail of everything we got. And then we'll holler at you guys a little bit. CTK out. Hey guys, let's hope this is uh, going to make my day. Me too. I know Kayla, Kayla's going to be fine, but this is a salted cold foam cold brew. So let's see how it is. I was last night because I had to leave my baby. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> but she go visit it today, but she can't take it with her. She's going to be on a vacation next week. Hey right, guys, so head snake den, cleaning, watering, doing went, her thing. I went, I went straight to my baby. Oh yeah, she did. She went straight to her. But we'll do a, a, a Repticon recap after a while of everything, of the pickups and everything, and uh, do some uh, inspections and stuff. And uh, the ones that I bought... I'm going to do some, I mean, I know that they kind of, you know, kept the same as a uh, ball pythons, but they need to be kept a little wetter. So, but I'm going to, um, I'm going to be doing a, a little, uh, research on them some more because I've been reading on them some, but I'm going to do some more research on them and then I'm going to do, I'll do some more about them, but I'll show some, I'll show them to you a little bit more in detail later. Hey you guys, so we wanted to show y'all this. I have to get a shadow over it. They're breeding. Fire okay. in the shade. You don't have to go to that side where you're not in the shadow. shadow oh, you're right. Well, you guys, we have another lock for Coral Glow and who's Butterbee. this? Butterbee. So, right now we had two locks on, um, what, the two, uh... Up there was the Fire Mojave and the Queen Bee. And this was the Butterbee and the Coral Glow Lesser. So we can get, like, some cool looking uh, bananas or Coral Glows. Uh, whatever they decide to prove out. I mean, whatever she lays. I'm hoping that's what she gets. But I was breeding her with a, a Pastel Vanilla for a while. So, and, the, and like, so I quit breeding her with him and I started breeding her with the so she could have a double sided clutch. So she could have babies from Pastel Vanilla and babies from the Coral Glow. Just depends on when she lays. What if it's, what if there's a baby, a mixture of the vanilla and the Coral Glow? There's no, you can't. There's no, it don't work like that. Well, that sucks. I wish it did. It would be crazy if you, if it did. Male Superconda, he acts so big and bad. I didn't get out of the out of the. Get me out of his way. Yeah, it's like a little ba. Chris is oh sorry, uh, Kayla is so scared of him, and he's uh, he's even smaller than the girl, and he just acts like a big bully. He is. <laughs> You gonna try to get him? No.
Good full shed there. Look at that. Wow, he grew overnight in that shed. See, my favorite part about the shed is you can see their eyeballs in their shed. Oh, look, you can even see the part of his nose. Look, Daddy. Beautiful little guy. Bully. Go ahead. Okay, so at this moment, we're going to show y'all and tell y'all about the pickups that we got from Repticon. And right here, I got my super past, no, pa just pastel. Yeah. My bad. I thought I was about to say super. I got my pastel pie right here. I love her. She's beautiful. And um, on the way down on the road, on the way here yesterday, I she kept popping her head out of the bag. She, she I guess she's not a bag snake. She didn't <laughs> like being in the bag. And, um... I just loved her. She she would come out on my hand in the car and stuff and just chill and I would cr I would sit there and be like a little baby going down the road, be like, she's so pretty. Mm -hmm. Show everybody. Bring her bring and her close so this everybody. This is what can... she looks like up okay. close. Right there. No, has, I'll move it. She has her little white splotches right there, and then she has a little white splotch right here on her tail. Oh, my belly's right here too, and there's her tail. She's got a little t white tip tail. Yeah. Uh, bring her around, flip her around a little bit, and let's see the other side. I just love that highway look that she has, with that or that genetic stripe look she has on her back. She's got like almost an unbreakable stripe all the way down her back, and I love that washout look on her that she has. Now she's trying to crawl on me. But yes, she is a darling. She is adorable. I can't wait to breed her with our 100% hip boy we have but it's going to be a long time three years before she gets big enough and we might end up getting another pod boy by then but yeah that's that's her new baby i love her all right next so this is our new substrate right here it's what is it cocoa chips yeah cocoa and, bedding yeah if, this is what we put in the blood snakes uh the blood, the blood pythons bin and because it holds water it, it yeah. keeps moisture really a lot better and we're going to try we're probably going to try to switch out uh several snakes with it and because we got two big things of it and it because it, it expands and it's like it comes a lot but it's just, but yeah that's the stuff we bought it smells as uh substrate and i forgot to get vermiculite because there was some there and i was going to buy it because i knew i was going to have eggs soon now i completely forgot so i'm gonna have to order some but next okay okay well this is the one of the blood pythons he is a chocolate blood python he's the male we got and he is pretty i love his face his mm -hmm. eyes look awesome you can bring him up we can bring him closer hopefully I don't just bring him around to the side a little bit we did already did some inspections on them but i just Let's see. Let's get his eyes good. Check his eyes. Well, he's coming on my arm. There you go. Look at that. Look at that look. He seems really like a good little boy, puppy dog boy. And, uh, mm -hmm. So that's why we got him because we know that you can like one out of... There are so many different blow pythons there, and I just wanted to make sure that we got some after I got that girl that seemed so sweet. She did pee on me. And poop on um, poop on poop and pee on Chris just about it yesterday, but that's okay. And then we wanted to get her out. That means she really likes us. <laughs> yeah, but I like this little boy. Uh, he was real sweet when he got him out. He's not head shy. Touch him on his head. See, he's not head shy at all. So that just really tells me that's a good that's a good sign. So we're gonna hope, and I'm gonna try to get him to eat next uh in the, like next week, but because he ate the other either. day, yeah. But we don't know. We don't know if his disposition is going to change once he gets used to being here. I'm hoping that he don't. We're going to try to maintain, you know, a good disposition for both of them because we want to bring an awareness to the blood pythons. Uh, I got a lot of, uh, like, after I watched the, actually, I'll be honest, uh, Jay inspired me about blood pythons. Who's Jay? Jay Boxing Boa. Okay. He inspired me. The one time he did a video about uh, blood pool, I mean, Deadpool. Uh, I really loved. I love the way he just talked about them. That they have a bad name for this. That have been had a bad name, and that you should really try them. And so, I fell in love with the little girl down there, which she's going to bring out next. But uh, we'll go to the next 
our last uh, beautiful snake. Go ahead. So this is our blood python female. Sumatran short tail, yeah. Yeah, Sumatran short tail. And I, I think she has like a little iridescence on her head that you can, if I, here, if you can see it, she has like a little iridescence on her head. Yeah, you can see. She's, I fell in love with her dark color. I call, I guess they call it a black blood, but not only that, but she has this silvery shine, shine, this silvery like sides of, and like, I'm going to get her tail. I love that. Look at that silvery looking. You get it more on this side. It looks like a xanthic look. That, uh, I'm missing it. There we go. Flip her around a little bit. Let's pull her. But, yeah, she's. Oh, look at that belly. Here, show that belly off. Look at that, that belly. She's gorgeous. Look at that the head. Hope she don't pee on, on her like she peed on us the other day. <laughs> I'd never, on and I'll be honest with you guys, like I've never thought about owning bloods or any uh, other thing besides like balls. And then I was going, I actually was wanting to get boas. And Jesus, she's live. Yeah, she's getting a little, a little. She got a wrangler. Just kind of get her. There you go. Just. Kind of, you can handle her. You gotta try to handle her. Like she's a little bit more moving. She's like, let me go. I don't want to be held. Mm -hmm. She's but, like, I'm gonna poop on you. <laughs> but yeah, she's gorgeous. I love her, and I'm gonna hold her and try to get her. We're gonna hold her every every other day or so, and don't want to stress her out too much. Just for a few minutes. Do the same thing with the boy. Mm-hmm. Well, Look, I still have my little stamp. Yep. But that's it, guys. That's our pickups. And she is absolutely phenomenal. I love her shine. I love her black, dark. Cause she's the darkest snake I've, I've ever owned. Um, and her design on her, like, it's just gorgeous. But anyways, I hope you guys have a great day. Update. I want to show you my hand. I'll show you the rest more, but this is yesterday, from yesterday, I, uh, and I'll put it in the video, but this is what happened to me yesterday with my hog nose. She, she latched down on my hand, as you can see, and that's, I just wanted to show y'all, like, what people think is bad. It's not, look, it wasn't nothing to it. It hurt a little bit when she, when she squeezed down onto my hand, like, like it was being pinched, uh, and I guess she was... Like her teeth were just like really latched onto me, and I had to take some um, little. I'll show you what I had to take. I had to take these little rubber tongs because, and then I had to take them and um, put them in, just wedge one of them up in in between her, like so I wouldn't hurt her teeth. So I wedged one of these up into her mouth so she couldn't chew any farther down on my hand because she wasn't wanting to let go. So I. Push this down onto her mouth, in, in, up in between my hand and her mouth. And as soon as I did that, just she took a second. She realized this ain't a rat, and she let me go, and I was good. But I was nervous. I was shaking so bad because I was worried. But, yeah, I put these tongs, like, I was shaking so bad because I was worried that she was uh, going, I was going to hurt her. I was more scared I was going to hurt her. I wasn't worried about her, like, her little bitty mild beasting venom or anything like that that they say they have. I wasn't worried about that. I was more worried about... If hurting her teeth or something like that because I, I was shaking like like a leaf man I was shaking so much just shaking just trying to you know get the tongue in between her you know jaw, jaw and my mouth and where because her mouth was like wide all the way wide open on my hand and I was like oh my god oh my god oh my god where's my and I was so mad I was like where's my camera at this is a perfect uh learning moment for people to see what's like what this was what I did to get her to let go. That's the only thing I could think of because she wasn't going to let go. And so I was like, what do I do? And I don't even have my camera. I left it outside because I was uh, making the new bins and everything with the coconut. And I was like, God, oh, where's my... And then Kayla's like, I don't know where your camera is. I don't know where your phone is. I was like, it's outside on the porch. But by the time she got back, uh, she had let go. And I was like, oh, well, I guess I can just show them what happened. But go. Okay, guys, so... Uh, I came to show my friend how they're not really that bad hog noses, and then like I get her out, I get her out really fast, and, and wasn't thinking about what I was doing, 
And I thought that she was just nuzzling my hand and she and she actually locked down on my on my hand. And she didn't want to let go and I had to use tongs to put under her mouth to get her to let go of my hand. So now I have been officially initiated into the hog nose, being bit by a hog nose. She got like, I don't know if she had gotten her back fangs, her rear fangs in on me, but I know she got her little front teeth right there. But I didn't, I don't feel anything. I don't feel like any, um, like bee sting. I don't feel that. I don't feel any of that stuff. So I don't think she really got like that. I don't think she got her back fangs in me. Rockout song for day is Live My Life by Skillet. Figured I'd play it. I ain't done it. We ain't done that rockout version in a while. I hope y'all have a great day. We hope you have a great day and uh, y'all do some great YouTube videos, put out some great content. Um, have fun, encourage yourself, do something great with your animals, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. GTK out.